want it. Now, let's see. I was looking back at one of my old reviews that I brought out this year. There's quite a few of them. It. Um, specifically the King Arthur review, thinking, okay, how can I one-up that? You quite simply grab the development model of the King Arthur, which so happens to be a Lord Nelson. Now, this was a really big up and coming model uh, back when there, what was it? James May's Big Trouble in Model Britain came out, along with, uh, I ain't gonna say any spoilers, but along with another locomotive that they were doing. And I think the Terriers already got two of them. So, yeah. Today's review is going to be about this beauty. Specifically, Lord Rodney. Who oh, I? And as we can see, B.I. Green. Let's go. Okay, now before I open the box, it says on the side here, R3635 BR Early Crest, Lord Nelson Class, Lord Rodney, number 30863. And it's a DCC ready one, so that's always good. And I know the layout looks like a bomb site, so please do not mention it in the comments. Okay. Carefully take out the box. What a cube, as it were. And I always nearly forget this, but bit of history. What a locomotive. And I'll bring it up close and so you can actually read it. Okay. Now, there's actually a bit of paperwork in here. As per the usual Hornby models. Uh, here we go. Lord Nelson Class 460. Wow. Just shows all, all the bits and bobs. Lubrication, body removal, and accessories. I do not have those, so I won't bother. I admit, I did buy this like in my second hand. So the accessories are long gone. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm loving what I'm seeing here. I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing here. I mean, wow. Huh, buggy to tender on in one go, I'll be damned. All right, but I'm just loving what I'm seeing here. I'll bring the camera down and give you a proper look. Okay. Let's just carefully lift this up. And we can already get a solid look at the detail. Oh my goodness. I know I'm holding it upside down. Bear with me. But the rivets on the bogies, the pipe work, the, everything. It's just incredible. Wow. And if we tilt this sideways, like so, we get inside the cab. Oh my gosh. Now for the right way up so you can see all the other detail. Oh my good gosh, I mean look at that. The tender connection, pretty standard. Autofocus is plain nasty on me, bugger. But I mean this is a gem. I mean really a gem. And coal load. Yep, plastic and removable. Nice. Oh, that wasn't on camera. Dang it. Coal load here. 
plastic and removable. Sweet. That's always good. That's always good. Now let's see how she does crawling. All right, let's see how she does at a crawling speed. A little motor noise, but nothing too major. Huh. I think there might be a flywheel in there. I mean, I've had worse. I've had worse, and this is second hand, so naturally there are some issues. And uh, like one I just noticed now of the tender. This bit of guardrail piece here, it's uh, very flimsy. I mean, look at that. I mean, oh my gosh. That's pretty bad. That is pretty rubbish. So I guess that's a bit of body work I have to fix up. But apart from that, the rest of it, I can't argue, it's beautiful. Sprung buffers, the works. It's beautiful. Only real test out is on the Club Lao. So, we'll just have to see how she does there. Shall we head off? Well, here we are at the Model Club, and if you can hear in the background, it is pouring down, which means sound is going to be a bit tricky, because I do not have a microphone on. Now, I'm just going to run this locomotive with a simple free coach rake, but might try a bigger train when teaming up with this. My King Arthur. I figure I might as well have the Southern Railway's most powerful 460 classes double head, a quite heavy train. As I found out a while ago, Southern Railway coaches weigh quite a lot. And the camera works a bit rubbish too, but oh well. Now without further ado, Lord Rodney, you made the part.
Corolla. Connor knows what a Corolla is, don't you? Yeah. Oh, one knows. Where the hell you get those from? Pico sell them. Oh, yeah, yeah. As well as Hornby, don't they? Yep. I like it. Like this. Mm. Two frames of on each other. Double heading the heavy rake, yeah.